Good morning, Dragons. I'm Olivia Dolby with the news of the day. With me today is Michaela. Hi, I'm Michaela Hummerstrom. Today is Thursday, November 11th. Please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Today's weather will be mostly cloudy with a high of 62. Let's see whose birthdays are today. It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. Yes, it is. It's your birthday. So happy birthday to you. Yes, to you. Today's SEL topic is organization. Study habits are the choices you make to do well in school, like staying organized and studying. Who is one study habit that you do well? Well and one habit that you can improve. Here are Carlos and Frankie from this true holidays class to talk about Veterans Day. When you think of November, the first holiday that probably comes to mind is Thanksgiving. And while Thanksgiving is an important holiday and a great time to give thanks, there's another holiday that falls in November. And it's a holiday that can also make us give thanks. It's Veterans Day. Veterans Day is a federal holiday that is observed on November 11th. It's a day to honor those who served in the military known as veterans. The holiday began in 1919 when the United States President Woodrow Wilson decided we should have a day to reflect on all the people who courageously fought for our country. It's a, day, it's a time to be thankful for those veterans who died so we could be free. In 1938, the United States Congress, in 1938, the United States Congress passed an act to make November 11th a legal holiday. They declared that the day be celebrated in dedication to world peace. Even though veterans fought in wars, we must remember that they fought for peace. The holiday was referred to as Armistice Day in honor of those veterans who lost their lives in World War I. In 1945, a man named Raymond Weeks started a campaign to change Armistice Day to Veterans Day because he felt all veterans should be honored. Not just those who died at war. This campaign led to President Dwight Eisenhower signing a law in 1954 to change Armistice Day to Veterans Day. In other parts of the world, November 11th is still celebrated as Armistice Day or Remembrance Day because it marks the anniversary of the signing of the Armistice that, in, that ended World War II. But whether you call it Veterans Day, Remembrance Day, or Armistice Day, November 11th is a time to honor all those who served in the military. Well, that was it announcements for today. Remember, step up to the lighting and kindness at Clark Mills.